Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. We probably come in on the inside of this and kind of trim that out a little bit, maybe a little sandpaper, and take those couple of thousandths off. So that would make us, if we wanted a good tight press fit, we're going to have to do 972. And that's a three thousandths fit. That's a tight fit, but we can heat this up pretty good and get it to slide on. So 972. Right? Yes. 972. And where are we? We are at so 84 so we've got ten thousandths to take off plus a little bit Okay, let's see what we got. We took two per side, so we took four thousandths off. And now we're sitting at... Nine seventy-seven. And I can't remember what we wanted to go to. Well, I think we we took off what we needed to take off. Let's see. Um, let's pull this off. gonna be it right there let's see what we've got out here so we've got 975 exactly and this is Nine seventy-seven and a half. So we don't have the the press fit that I was hoping for, <clears throat> but I think it's going to be just fine. Once we slide on there, it's going to press in pretty tight, and then uh, once we get get it in place, it'll be fine. So now we come here, and we come out to this point here, and we put threads on the very end here. So we got two, four, two, four. Mm. 
2432. Okay, from here to there. Right about there. Now we're going to want to take it in just a little bit to get it under so that when the nut tightens up, it'll tighten up on the shaft and pull everything into place. So, now. Bring this back. about there and a one inch well I think we're just gonna leave it like it is and see what happens so let's set up our, our single point So we're going to go, um, what are we down with? <laughs> 12 threads per inch. 18, there's 12 th threads per inch. So our number two, which is right down here, that's number three. Here's number two. We want to go to six, to number six. Three, four, five, six. And that's number two, 12 thirds with six, right? And then number three, we want to be on B. Okay. 12, B, six. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's open up the back here and make sure that we've got uh, this American standard. So we've got uh, 65 te teeth, 90 teeth, and 65 teeth. And if we come over here, I've written American standard 65, 65, 90. So we're in good shape. Uh, metrics is this setup. So we'll be back. Okay, so we've got our thread cutting bit in here. We need to get uh, the t uh, compound at 60 degrees. <coughs> well, actually I'm thinking it's 30 degrees on this lathe. And I'm always confused because all of my lathes <laughs> have the different settings for that. Okay, so now what we need to do is bring this bit into square with the work. So that's pretty simple. Bring it over to the chuck bring it back a little bit and square it up with the chuck
a little bit further somewhere right in there okay so now bring our bit back here we're going to come in to where Ever our line is, which is right there. And we're going to cut our line. that we've got 12 threads per inch. Let's take our nut, make sure we got 12 threads per inch on the nut. And I'm not sure that we do. No, we don't. The hell? This couldn't be a metric nut. All right, let's just figure out what we got. So, what do we got? There's our number 15, 13. Let's, let's try 12, 11 and a half, <laughs> 12. It's definitely not 12 threads per inch. Okay. Let's go to 10. It might actually be more like 14. Yep. it is well that's interesting because my chart says 12 oh okay one inch 14 all right so 14 we got to change all our numbers not a big deal okay so 14 we go to 8, and we're still on B. Let's see what that looks like. Zero. I think 60 degrees is, I think this lathe is 60 degrees rather than 30. Just doesn't look right. Nine degrees. I don't know, that just looks better.
Okay, we've got our threader set up, squared up. We want to come in and find zero again. And since we got the wrong thread pattern on this, uh, put on, put the dicum to hide uh, the old threads or the old scratch, and go ahead and wait for it to dry a little bit. What was it? 15 threads? <laughs> 14 threads per inch. 14. Okay, so now we've done our scratch test. We come in with our 14 threads per inch, and we are on the money. All right, so now, just a matter of going in until it fits I know it's not enough. I know it's not enough, but we're gonna do a test, a test run anyhow, just in case. Yeah, way too tight. Good. Okay. Back to zero. What we're going to do. Let's take this off. I think we've got enough room that this chasing die will will work. Let's give that a try. Not big enough.
Okay, the only other one I have is this monster. Not easy to handle, but it will work. Threads is this? This might be 12. Yep, it's 12. Okay, we can't use that. Okay, back to step one. I almost screwed that whole thing up. Okay, so we can still chase these threads. Oops. Let's see what we got. I think we have more room from here to the other end. We've got 24 inches. And this shaft is 22, I believe. Twenty and a half for the shaft. And another two and a half for the hub. So that's 23. So that gives us one inch. <laughs> one inch. So we cut that off and we put it back in and take this further back and take this further back. The other thing we can do and I don't know what this side looks like because this whole side is much smaller let's just see how small it is and then we just have to start anew oh yeah it's it's a lot smaller the question is how much Somewhere in the neighborhood of 930 something. 930 something. So how much did we cut off of that? Well, actually, now that I think of it, that can be cut off. All right, we're going to take it out and turn it around and do it again. <laughs> 